The iPhone 5C isn't just the lower end of Apple's two new flagship smartphones. It's the intended replacement of the iPhone 5, meaning you won't be able to find the older phone on the shelves for too much longer. So if you're in the market for a lower end iPhone, should you rush out and buy last year's iPhone 5? Or get a little colorful with the brand new 5C? I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Let's find out. So the party line goes that the new iPhone 5C is nothing more than an iPhone 5 in a colorful new plastic casing. To some degree, that's correct, but there are plenty of differences here worth covering. We'll talk about them in terms of hardware, software, and some test notes. Putting these phones side by side, it's hard to believe the 5C is the newer model. Yes, we're all used to the classic style of the iPhone 5 by now, with its chamfered edges, glass end caps, and smooth aluminum backing, but despite its design being a bit old hat, it still looks much more premium than the toy-like 5C. Now, don't take us the wrong way, there's a lot to like on the 5C's build. The added customizability that comes with a choice of five colors is a definite plus, and we've seldom come across a plastic phone that feels as well-made, partially due to the 5C's rigid steel frame lying beneath the polycarbonate. Other details like button size, travel, and feedback are impressive and well done, but there's no question that the 5C feels like the cheaper of the two devices. It's more comfortable in the hand, thanks to its rounded corners, but the 5C was built as the lower-end alternative, and it feels like it, despite its increase in weight and thickness. In terms of published specs, the differences are exceedingly minor. The 5C is powered by the same A6 processor and modem combination as the iPhone 5 with the same 1 gig of RAM, and its display is the same exact panel as well. The 5C does pack a slightly larger battery, and the front-facing camera has seen a small upgrade as well. From the standpoint of an end user, everything else on the hardware front is exactly the same. Those similarities only multiply on the software side. The newer iPhone 5C runs iOS 7 out of the box, but as Taylor Martin demonstrated in his iOS 7 Gold Master walkthrough video, the iPhone 5 has no trouble running the new version. App launch times between the two devices are exactly the same, from stock to third-party titles, and responsiveness throughout the interface is similarly identical, from multitasking to browser performance to boot times. The camera results follow exactly in the pattern you'd expect, given the identical 8 megapixel shooters on the back of these phones. The pictures, shot with iOS 7's new stock viewfinder app, are identical in both HDR and non-HDR shooting modes. Colors are bright and edges are sharp in most well-lit situations, but low light is still a pretty big challenge compared to newer phone cameras with optical image stabilization, it's something not included on either of these shooters. Nevertheless, photos are fine, and videos come out smooth and well-balanced on each. On the other side, the improvements to the front-facing camera are minor, but they do result in slightly more accurate coloring on the 5C. There's not quite as much parity in voice performance, where the 5C takes a small hit in quality. People we called said we came across slightly muddier on the 5C, without as much of the crisp clearness the 5 delivered, and we experienced the same on our end. The difference isn't major, but it's there. In terms of speakerphone, there's almost no difference in amplitude or clarity, which is solid on both devices. So taking in some YouTube videos or Spotify tracks with the loudspeaker shouldn't be a problem with either device. The differences between these phones are so minor that the choice between iPhone 5 and iPhone 5C is almost entirely a cosmetic and aesthetic one. If you want the added customizability of different casing colors, and you don't mind the feel of plastic in the hand, the 5C is a very capable mid-range iPhone. But if you're looking for the same responsive performance with slightly better voice quality and a much more premium build, you'll want to snap up an iPhone 5 while you still can. Folks, there's an iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S review from PocketNow coming shortly, and in the meantime, be sure and check out our comparisons, including the 5S, the 5, the 5C, and every other device we can get our hands on. Follow us on social media, and make sure to throw us a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you have something to say, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.